Hey, it's me, Eagler. Thank you for tuning in for part two of my Fire Emblem 6 Iron Man playthrough. And quickly, I would like to apologize for the last part. I, um, my commentary was very off on that video, and I know that I didn't explain myself behind my actions or the things I said, such as um, the guy Boars being bad and all that stuff. And for each of my actions, I kind of stuttered a little bit, so this time I'm going to spend about just a couple of minutes to explain uh, the thought processes behind my opinions of the playable characters, and I'll, I will make sure that I explain each reason that I decide to move one guy to one place and all that stuff, so I don't leave you guys in the dark. But otherwise, um, this is part two, and let's get started on the next chapter of the Fire Emblem 6. Yes, let's move on. Okay, there's a small village on the border of Ferry and Burn. Um, so they hired mercenaries, and a couple of them are good. Otherwise, eh, they're not that great. But, you know, whatever. Oh, Massey. What I'm asking is where the princess is. Yes, Captain Milady. I'm certain she- No, I'm not gonna do that voice again. I was certain she was in her room this morning. I've already heard that. What I want to know is where the princess is at this moment. Oh, what? Um, she's... We're almost going to head on war with Lysia. What if something happens to the princess? Can you take responsibility? No. I'm gonna make a- I would make a joke about his red eyes, but... I don't know. It's not that funny. He just looks stupid. Well, I guess if... I guess if I'm not reading it, then... Basically, the point is, is that this guy... Is bad. Alright, now... I'm gonna explain things about why I said uh, Lance and Alan are good, and why Boars and Wolf suck. So, the thing to know about this game is that level ups are not... Here, let me go over, say, Roy's stats. Level ups are not like how they are in, say, uh, Final Fantasy. So, for each level up in, tho in those games, uh, you would, like, let's say the speed stat, or, or the skill stat. For each level up, they would increase by, like, 10 points or something. And it would, I think, I believe in uh, those games, they're set, so uh, for each level up, you're guaranteed to get a certain amount of stats. But in Fire Emblem, that's not the case. And for each level up, um, they only, a stat, let's say, skill, can only increase by one point. But it's based off of luck, so, um, I, and the growth rates are based off of, off of <clears throat> excuse me, a percentage, so... Uh, let's take, for example, a stat I know. For example, Lance, his defense growth is only, I believe, 20%. If not 20, then I think it's uh, 15 or 25. But the point is that that's a low percentage. And that, that's the same for just about every unit in this game, other than a couple of exceptions. One being Roy. No, no, I'm just actually, now that I think about it, his growth rates are only slightly better on average. But that's the thing. So you take a unit like um, Wolt and his mediocre growth rates, and his poor base stats, and he doesn't go anywhere. Because these stats right here, 4, 4, 5, 2, 4, that, um, for the average numbers of characters or units in this game, um, that's not a good example, it's kind of low. Like, you take this guy, just some generic enemy, and his stats are way better. Double, uh, double the strength, double the speed, and what's his hit points? 29 hit points? versus Wolt's 18, that's that's a total of 10 more. So yeah, he may not have as much defense in his stat of 3 hit, uh, defense points, but what? Wolt has a single hit point more? And, and because growth rates are based off a low percentage, averaging around, I believe for this game, uh, 30 to 40 percent? No, 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 that's actually more like 30 percent. So you take a low percentage chance like 30, and then, if you so happen to land within that range, a stat will increase by a single point. So you take the strength stat, which is calculated for your attack stat, you get like a 30% chance to level it up, and when you do, it's just one more extra point of strength. And um, unlike in Final Fantasy games that um, have a total level of, say, like, 100, you can see it right there, the max level is 20. 
Although I will say that the chances are you're actually going to level up your characters more around 25 to 30 times by the time you reach the end of the game. Maybe um, no more, no greater than 39 times though. But and that's stretching it. Otherwise, so yeah, you, that's why I'm talking about units like Lance and Alan and Marcus to be good because their stats are already good at level one. Um, of course, I already leveled them up once. And they come up with almost as much strength as the enemies and all that. But another thing is that they have high movement. So just think of it like chess. Like, um, if we were to say that Wolt was good, which he is not, uh, you would think of it like, okay, well, they both have good stats, but then you would think of Wolt as a pawn, and you would think of Lance as more like a, okay, well, you could say a knight. The knight has better movement in the ch in the chess. So, in did I say the chess? It's chess. But yeah, that's where my point is. And all this, all these blue squares, whenever I select him, that's how far he can move. In comparison to Wolt or Boars, for example, he can. This is all. This is his limited movement range. And for tiles such as this forest tile or this fort tile, they get slowed down even more. But at least Lance has good movement to begin with, and that's why I said he's good. And then you look at Marcus and. Look, look at those stats. Oh, 11 speed and 9 strength, and 9 defense. I mean, uh, now I'm going to explain why Boar is bad, just real quick. Okay, something I didn't notice about Boar is that he, at level 1, he only has 20 hit points. I didn't even notice that. Again, in comparison to these fighters, which they have 29 at, like, level 2. I mean, come on. But, Boar is exceptionally bad. First of all, he has 11 defense, which is the gimmick of these armor knights. They're supposed to be the defensive ones, but that's only two more de defense than Marcus, who you already have. And let's let's take um, Lance for example. That's only about four more points than Lance. And we already saw the stats of fighters in chapter one. They had like the boss had like 25 attack, for example. But you can see they have um, these fighters have like 16 attack, 17 attack. I believe in this chapter, um, more of them have steel axes. I mean, just, yeah, like this one has 21 attack. That means, um, Boar's only takes, uh, that means Boar's, sorry, did I say only takes, takes 10 damage. But also something I forgot to mention is that he has a weapon triangle disadvantage versus them. Um, I commented in the first chapter, like, oh no, there's a bunch of axe fighters and archers. Man, Boar's really sucks. Because this game, or f actually most fire move games, like, uh, 80% of them have this, uh, rock, paper, scissors mechanic. It's not, like, um, the definite thing, like, for example, Roy has a disadvantage versus the soldier, but because the soldier just sucks, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world for him. He still does decent, but you can, but that's, that's a thing. So you, so it's a, excuse me, I'm stumbling on my words. 21 damage over 11 defense, that should be 10 damage, right? But no, because you get a weapon triangle band, she actually does 11 damage, so that's, that's dealing, <laughs> excuse me, even more damage, like, then that, uh, I'm just thinking about how bad it is. I'm already, I'm already, I'm, I haven't even gone to my next point, because I've been thinking about how, you know, Boar's is already dead. It doesn't even matter if he has, if they both don't, ha if he doesn't have a disadvantage or not, because he has a meager 20 hit points, and he has only 3 speed in comparison to, um, well, this isn't a good example, but this guy right here, and, hmm, actually I was about to... I'll bring this up later. I realized that this point I was about to make is actually invalid, but you'll see, you'll see it eventually. And what that is, since I'm not telling you yet, it's a secret, it's a surprise. Oh yeah, but we got some new units. Um, this is Merlinus. Uh, he basically holds all your weapons, so you notice like there's uh, five slots right here. Or, oops. Um, let, me, let me show you a better example. So there's about space for five items right there, if you can visually imagine it or whatever. But if there's uh, not enough space, it goes to this guy. He's just a convoy, but the only g good thing I can say about this guy otherwise is that he, he doesn't die like everyone else, so he doesn't have to fear the rules of the Iron Man run. Which is to say that an Iron Man run, just in case I'm worried I didn't say what it is the first part, is that if a unit dies, I'm not going to reset the game for them. Because if they die, then they do not come back, like in most other games. They don't get knocked out or whatever. But I'm going to get started now, after I explain who this guy, this, excuse me, lady is. She is a healer. Um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much all I need to say about her. She has zero defense and 16 hit points, so you do not want her to get in range of any enemies. She can heal, but yep, that's pretty nice. So let's let's get started. All right, I'm gonna send Merlinus up here because there's a village. Um, in the last part, we, there was a village that I barely managed to rescue with Lance, and I think I got 5,000 gold for it. Otherwise, we had no money, I believe. I'm gonna quickly check the shop tile and see what it, uh, how much money I have. Okay, so um, we basically doubled our money from rescuing that village. Um, there was a brigand. Uh, let's see if there's a brigand, a brigand on this map. Um, no, there are no brigands on this map. But basically, an enemy was going over to the village to destroy it, and then we wouldn't have got all that money. Um, not to... Oh, there's an armory here. Okay. Well, we'll check that armory, armory later. But now, we're going to begin this chapter slow, because we have these soldiers, and... Um, whenever you see a soldier like this, if, if they are a soldier with this class name and this little hand movement, they suck, and you don't need to worry about them. You can, even Boros could take them on. And, and by the way, um, I didn't use Boros the, the last chapter, but that's how silly he looks. He just has that ugly, like, yellow armor, it, it, and, he, and he looks like a... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. This is the first game to use that Armor Knight sprite, and it's just so bad. I mean, I... <laughs> There's... Ugh. I mean, at le if they could at least, um, do, like, be good fighters or be good at anything, then, I don't know, I would say it was worth the expenses to develop that armor, but no. You, you, you guys saw it. But otherwise, you don't have to use vulneraries like I ex Yeah, so that's why I was apologizing for my commentary. Uh, when I said um, Lance use a vulnerary before rescuing the village, I, um, they basically refill your health for 10 points, but they come in low usage. Only uh, three, uh, two out of three uses left for this one vulnerary in particular. But that's why Ellen is a nice character to have around. She, has, she can heal you up to 30 times with this uh, one stack, and, and you can buy more later on, so... Yeah, I'm glad she's around. I just have to make sure she doesn't die, or else things will... Mm, you know, I don't want to say it. But I'm okay with using Wolf this one time. I mean, I know he has bad stats, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump him later, so it's, it's all good. Let's see, I can conserve my Javelin use um, for an Iron Sword use instead, because Lance just barely deals enough damage to this guy, despite having a Weapon Triangle disadvantage. Uh, just on a quick note, I won't spend another minute t explaining too much, but a javelin is basically a thing that you can throw at a distance. So, you know how Wolt attacked this guy two spaces away? Well, Lance can do the same thing with his uh, javelin. Although it has poor hit rates, it basically invalidates Wolt even more. Poor guy. Or maybe not so poor. He doesn't have to worry about fighting in a war. What, what more could you want? Um, now, something, the one last thing, I swear I'm not going to spend too much time more on this first turn, but I was hesitant to use the Silver Lance on the first chapter because it's a very powerful weapon. Has uh, next to that, underneath that, that letter A, those letter A's, the LAA, is a number 14. And compare that to the Iron Sword, only a number 5. That's the strength of the weapon, and it's, a Silver Lance is kind of expensive, so I wanted to conserve it a little more, but I know it's hard mode, so I shouldn't worry too much. Otherwise, uh, Lance is gonna deal decently against this guy. You can double attack him, because he's faster. And, you know, nothing to worry. Just a meager soldier. I wonder if these fighters... Oh, okay. <laughs> this stupid armor knight. You see that little twirl he's doing? Just... He sh What's... <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. And there are the mercenaries you hired. They should be around here somewhere. Then you can go and check to see if the race armies around here. Sure. Uh, I, uh, by the way, I know I'm not putting very much effort into uh, voice acting. The Ferrey family, one of the nobles of Elysia. And Marcus's son is going to join the Elysia Alliance. So we're going up against the burn. That's what it looks like. A worthy opponent. Time to show some skill. Eh? No. You suck. Don't even talk. I think I found him. That looks like they're fighting somebody down there. Yes, yes. Yes, I know. So, I mean, they didn't say anything new, that's why I was getting annoyed. It's like, we're fighting against Spurn, like, it was already established. 
And another thing to apologize, I, I'm not gonna apologize anymore, I swear, but like, I called- I called Bors the guy from Burn. No, he's from Ostia. What? I mean, I corrected it later, but just in case there was any confusion, this guy is not from Burn. Burn's single individual soldiers leagues ahead of this guy. Oh my god. I can't believe I said he was from Burn. He's from Ostia. Okay, but enough of my rage. Let me quickly introduce these guys. Ward, um, is bad. He... He has only three skill, his growth rate is low for skill, and axes in this game have terrible hit rates. An iron axe, which is supposed to be one of the most accurate types of weapon in the game, uh, sorry, the iron class, is supposed to be very accurate, but only a 65% hit for iron axes. And let's... I'll, I'll show you how bad it is later on, but... Then there's Lot. He's, he's better than Ward for sure. He has more speed and more skill. I mean, he has double the skill of Ward, uh, 6 compared to Ward's 3, um, but I don't know, he's otherwise still not very good, because he just, he's stuck with axes, and I mean, I, I know axes aren't the worst thing in the world, but, hmm, you know what, let's, let's see if that guy from the battery file was correct, maybe Lot is good after all, which is what I'm going to say before he ends up taking a crit to the face, we'll see, 2 luck, alright. Luck, by the way, um, determines how you're gonna hit, if you're gonna get hit by a critical attack or not. So two luck is not very good compared to like anyone else. Then there's Dick. I'm gonna call him Dick because I'm not. I don't want to say Dick. That's just stupid. He's pretty good. He has ten speed and uh, um, nine strength at level five. That's comparable to Marcus, except he um, Dick doesn't have a horse. Oh my god! Did I just say? It's, I'm just gonna call him Dick. And then there's Thaney. Um, with 12 speed, that's pretty good. Um, 4 strength looks pretty bad, but it doesn't matter, because... Does that, do you know anyone else who can fly around? I didn't think so. Although, um, oh no, 6 defense? That's not bad. Not that bad. But 17 hit points, and really gotta make sure that Thaney doesn't die, because the next time you get a Pegasus Knight, who could, who's the, which is one of the two class... One of the four classes that can fly, is not gonna be for a while. Otherwise, um, yeah, you see that soldier? Can, it can two, that soldier can two-shot her, despite being a stupid soldier, so yeah, gotta be extra careful. If I end up pausing a little bit to think about my actions, then um, that's just what I gotta do. Oh, you really saved us. Yep. Oh, an armor slayer, huh? Let me check the stats over that real quick. Um, oh, I have eight strength, I guess, compared to an iron sword's five? Um, but it has 11 weight. That means characters um, with low constitution like Roy, uh, they get slowed down by like, let's see, for Roy, he gets slowed by 5 points, which means he only has 2 speed with when he uses an armor slayer. Eh, no, no thanks. But now we're getting surrounded by these fighters. I'm gonna put Lance on this, no, I'm gonna put um, Marcus on this fort because I know he's not gonna kill the fighters. Yeah, see that? He's, um, this fighter will have 5 hit points, and this one will have 2, which means I can give the um, kills to my other cavaliers who need them more. The reason for this is because Marcus um, has extremely low growth rates, uh, less than the 30% average. He has more like 10% aver averages, and also he just gains experience slower. He's an old man, so that's how you know. Unlike in other games, like when I first played Awakening, yes, yes, I played Awakening first, blah, 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 blah. I, I didn't know Frederick was gonna drop off later on. I mean, I know Frederick's like one of the best units ever, but, but it, he did drop off for me in my first playthrough, and I, and I didn't know. How, how was I supposed to know? He just... I didn't... I couldn't tell... He had seven movement, just like other Cavaliers, because of the Great Knight class. I, I couldn't tell. But, you know... That's, that's why I, I like games that give you an old man as a one of their helper units to give experience to others, because... What, what do you think? What do you think he's gonna be playing? Jeez, I already feel bad using him so much. Despite that he's almost essential for hard mode. But, yeah. I'm gonna keep giving kills to my Cavaliers. Now, you may, Oh, oops, let's see this level up first. Level up. HP, strength, skill, and luck. Oh, it's really good, actually. But the reason I'm not give, giving more kills to Roy is 
kind of complicated, and I, I feel I feel I feel like I've already ex explained enough in this chapter. So let's just keep moving on. Um, I'm just gonna move these units a bit closer. If there's anyone I can heal, yeah, okay, Ellen, heal Lance, please. And uh, don't worry, I'm gonna turn off this healing animation. Just let's see it one more time before we turn it off. Not that it matters much. I just I just forgot to turn it off. Oops. It should be really easy. Okay. And then we'll leave uh, Ellen blank with the gray space, which is to, which means that she won't get the animation. But let's see um, Ward's hit rates versus this soldier with low speed. Um, 79, not too bad. But this soldier has 3 speed, which means he doesn't evade much. So, I don't know, that should look more like an 85 at a minimum. But don't worry, there's still something Ward can do. First, let's um, try to give Thaney some experience. Um, she won't get the kill, but that's okay. Oof. More than half of her hit points. Under a 48%. Jeez. But that's okay. Now, the rescue mechanic will allow me to um, rescue her from danger. It's just like this. And this is done because Dick Ward... And, did I just say Dick again? Dick is... his has a higher constitution, so just... I already feel bad enough. Basically, they're bigger, so they can rescue Thaney Boots. Looks like... You can, you can tell she's a skinny bones. Just look at her. But, um... I'll keep Roy right here. Let's see. 10 damage versus Dick. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Fine. You want to be called Dick, so... Oh. He has two identities. There. All I'm gonna say about that. But he's gonna handle this. Okay, so. I was gonna say he's gonna handle this fighter nicely because the fighter has a low percentage hit, and despite standing on a fort, which increases your avoidance stat, and I'm sure you can guess what an avoidance stat, stat does, uh, Dick should have been able to avoid that hit and retaliate um, in kind, but no. At least he. No, 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 no. I want to. I, I, I do like Dick as a mercenary pretty um, because of his high base stats, and it's one thing to lose him right there and never be able to use him again. But I'm not sure what the rest of this mercenary crew would be able to handle these guys. I mean, jeez, there's a lot of them. Five? No, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, oh wow, yeah. Let's let's check this armory to see what they saw. Cause I don't remember. Welcome to the armory. Okay. Um, yeah, sure, let's buy some weapons. Javelins are nice, because, you know, you can attack and not take retaliation damage. As And since these enemies are dealing, like, half our hit points, that's that's pretty good, I would say. Let's see, I'm only gonna buy one sword, because I'm mostly gonna be using lances pretty soon. Um, not now, of course, we're being barraged by axe fighters. There, Marcus, move out of the way. Let's give this first kill to Alan since his movement is reduced on forts and he just is farther away so he can occupy it. And then we'll once I'm just gonna feed keep feeding kills to Lance and Alan because they're just they're the good guys. Oh, okay, well Alan seems to just want to level hit points and strength, but still. If I was to imagine a level up from Bolt, he would probably just be a single point of skill. That's my experience with him. And then of course you already know my experience with Roy. Uh oh shoot. Oh yeah, that's right. This fighter had a hand axe. It's, it's like a javelin in which it can attack at two spaces away, so that's why his hit points aren't reduced, and I failed to notice that. Uh, bolt. Oh, oh I was thinking of having... Oh, screw it. There's, like, there's nothing to say. I messed up. Now don't get hit by a 29 percenter. There. Good job. I'm running out of things to say other than my other than just my silent disappointment for like this this bunch. Is there anyone I need to heal? Oh sure. Uh, if you ever play Fire Emblem for yourself and you haven't played it before, you're gonna want no matter which Fire Emblem game it is. I, yeah, no matter which one it is, 
I'm thinking about the later games to see if there's something I was missing, but you always want to heal with your healer as much as you can if you have enough heal saves that you're able to not worry about it. Uh, yeah. But I'm gonna otherwise retreat with this mercenary gang because Dick is not, you know, he has only six of his 26 hit points left. So, one, two, three, four, five. Um, we don't want Thaney to be in range of a spider because she, I mean, even with full hit points, I think she would die. Let's check. Okay, no, she wouldn't die with full hit points, but still. One, two, three, three, four, five, sorry. Um, that means the fighter can attack right here, and we want to move Thaney right here so we can move Dick right here, trade for a vulnerary, and get some healing. Um, he only has to worry about this one fighter because, um, you know, forts reduce movement and these, all these guys are behind these forts. So the forts are being like a nice wall for me right now. I don't have to worry about giving experience to these other guys because they can move out of range. <laughs> yep. I'm thinking of where to move these other guys, but because of the hand axe, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to move those guys in range. Although, you know what, sure, why not? Let's move Roy in range. If you get, even if you get hit without being able to retaliate against the enemy, you still get some experience, so why not? Alright, you finally dodge, eh? Hmm. Now, maybe my impression of Dick being able to double attack enemies maybe just came from normal mode. I'm not sure he's going to be able to double enemies on hard mode. That's fine, though. It just means he won't get double attacks in return, which comes from his speed stat. stat. If you remember Marcus being able to hit, um, hitting the uh, fighters in the first chapter twice, that comes from your speed stat. So, let's see here. Maybe Wolt will be able to do something? Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm not, I can't worry about Wolt getting crit, because this... Okay, okay. Yeah, and... <sighs> can't even heal Wolt with Ellen for some experience. Thanks. I don't have to worry about Merlinus, but... I'm getting- I'm starting to get swarmed here. I'm- I'm- I'm gonna use Marcus again. But I'm, now I'm thinking- Oh! Oh, that's it! Yeah, we'll- we'll just give Marcus the Iron Lance that Boris has. I could have done that from the first chapter. Okay. But now I'm getting- yeah, I'm still worried about all these enemies coming up. Even these soldiers are appearing to do um, some hefty damage versus my guys, despite being the worst class in the game. So, um, let's see. I'll use Alan first because this, as you can see, only a 13% hit chance from the spider. Yeah, I'm probably still gonna get hit. Okay, good. Has it? Uh, has I was about to ask. Has anyone got hit by a 1% hit in this game? Not a crit, but a 1% hit. But the chances of that are so unlikely. Even more unlikely than a 1% critical attack because of how this game works. Just, I, I don't know I don't know why that thought came to my head. It's like, I'm sure someone's got hit with, like that before. But not even I have. It's just that unlikely. Now I can move uh, Dick right here and get some healing from Helen so he can conserve his vulnerary use in case he needs it later. Now, I'll just gonna, I'm just gonna keep retreating and hope I won't have to use Ward or anything because I don't want to use him. I'd rather use Lot, and even then I don't want to use him. You, I, the reason I'm sighing is because I do like I do want to think that fighters are good, but they're not. Even in the later some of the later Fire Emblem games, like uh, Fire Emblem, uh, let me I gotta make check this right. Fire Emblem 14. You get a fighter like Arthur, and he also sucks, and then, I mean, yeah, some people have said Charlotte's decent, but I, I, I try using Charlotte, she's not that good. You don't have to worry about it if you don't know what I'm talking about, but just my ranting about the fighter class. The ones with the axes, that's just what I'm thinking about. Let's see, Marcus has 9 defense and 32 hit points, so I don't need to worry about him dying that much. Although I should be careful, this is an Iron Man. So... I'm going to keep retreating. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Since these guys guys have full hit points, I'm going to keep using Marcus uh, with an Iron Lance on this fort. You, you, you can tell in the bottom right corner, this fort gives two defense and 20 avoid. Just 
pretty good. A solid 20% chance reduced of getting hit. No matter what it no matter who the enemy is. So. Oh, oh shoot. I gotta make sure I can actually get, um, retreat all of my characters first. So I'm going to rescue um, Lot, and I'm going to move right here, and then I can, let's see, I can have Ward take him and release him, so he's now away from the enemy. That is a good thing about Ward, he does have a lot of constitution. That's the, he has one more point, as you can tell, from his 13 over 12, he could barely rescue um, Lot. Otherwise, um, I don't know, if, if this... Nah, I have nothing to worry, worry about. I mean, a soldier with a javelin, even he couldn't kill, could he? Nah, I'm sure. I'm sure it would've been fine. Would it have been? Now you don't know. Oh, a talk conversation. Are you Roy the Beret family? Who are you? I'm Dick. I have <laughs> No. <laughs> Is this what I get for continuing my silly voice acting? Okay. You know what? Yeah, he's the leader. Okay. Uh, I am ashamed of myself. Give me that vulnerary. I'll, I'll like if I can imagine it's alcohol, then I'm sure my maybe my body will react in kind. <laughs> like that. I'm already pretending to drink it, so things should be getting better. Um, oh, oops. I should probably put the weapons in the storage. Oop. One, two, three, four, five. I... Oh, I was about to say I had exactly... I had bought exactly five weapons, but that's not true. Good, Marks. He didn't get hit by a 14%. But look at this. He double attacks because he has enough speed. And that's why Marcus is good. I mean... I mean, it's actually really convenient. He, I guess it could- if it was on normal mode, I think Marcus would have killed them, so... I don't know. I probably shouldn't be speaking too much about how he's able to drop down units' health. Anyway. I should really start just killing these units. Since this archer has, um... Oh, only 12 attack. That's not so bad. I'm gonna kill him anyway. Die. No, wait, before I do that... I got I- since apparently none of my units want to double, like I was about to make an example of... I should I should check if I can kill these soldiers first. Um yeah. Alright. Time to count a little bit. Oh, never mind, there's nothing to worry about. Watch this. Alan can one round him. And not get hit. That's good. Thank you. Oh, the RNG of Fire Emblem. Maybe I could say I'm, I would get lucky this whole time, but I doubt it. If I could Hmm. I'm thinking about who I should give kills to in re in regards of who ca who can kill. Like this axe fighter, I was wondering if I should let Lance kill him or if I should just let the weak Roy kill him. Since I don't think Roy can deal with anyone else. He do he has a sword, so he's at a disadvantage versus these soldiers with lances. As you can see, he he gets a 60. Si this soldier has a high percentage chance to hit him too. So yeah. But Lot can handle them pretty well. Um, hmm. But Dick can also handle them well. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for the dirty joke in the comments. That's okay. But there, he one's a he one rounds him despite having a weapon triangle disadvantage and a lower hit rate. Is it because Dick's good? Is it because his soldier's bad? I think it's the former. But there, let's see if Lot can kill this soldier now. Yep, he can. Just barely. Well, not just barely, but... Yeah, just barely. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. There he goes. I hope I make that battery file save guide proud. It's only six damage. Does this archer... No, this archer only has four points of defense. Boy, sucks. But Marcus can still feed him the kill, if I feel like it. Thank you, Marcus. Just kidding, you you thought I was gonna give that to Roy? Nah. It's much better to give it to Fanny because Excuse me. I had to cough. But um I don't know where I was going with that. Fanny's just better than Roy. The reason for that? 
is because no oh, man. I can't I wanna explain why, but that it requires me to go on a long tangent, and I and I, I don't wanna do that again. If I'm gonna go on a long tangent of why Roy is worse than Laney, oh I don't know. It that might be another ten part like explanation. And I have I don't I still don't have a timer with me because I just forgot to give myself a oops. I forgot to give myself a timer, but I ima I imagine I've already explained like ten minutes of why Roy sucks and all that stuff. I will stop myself. But otherwise, Ellen has a lot of units to heal. That's good for her. You do get a couple of he uh, healers in this game. And I'm not sure... Actually, no. I do know which healer I'm going to use. But I'll leave you in suspense. Er, in suspense. For now. Let's see. Just checking this guy's attack. He cannot uh, one-shot Roy. That's how... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop complaining about Roy. This is, this is the, this is the thing I know about myself is that I like to complain about stuff. I, I pointed that out in one, in my, um, other series, but I still gotta, I still gotta stop. I gotta stop. Or do I? I don't have to stop. He's it's perfect. It's, 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 it's okay to complain about him. I mean, he, Roy does suck after all. Just like in Smash Bros. Woohoo! Take that. Otherwise, um, the problem with some of these old games is that you can't, um, you have to move each unit one at a time if you want to use them. And it's just my habit to do so, like, there's no reason for me to move more Merlinus. You can't fight or anything, but, I don't know, I just do. That's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll drop that habit pretty soon, for the two of us. Um, unless I like to, like to imagine that this video is being watched by a whole group, but, nah. Let's see here. How should I drop this fighter? Well, I would think... I don't know, I could give it... Oh, no, Lot is in range. Let's, let's give him a hit. Uh, no. Ew, look at that. 44% hit. Yeah, that's why fighters aren't very good in this game. Hmm. Perhaps Marcus could leave him with enough health. Nope. Nope. Off by two hit points. Let's see if Thaney can get enough damage. Ew. Alright, that's fine. I'll use the Cavalier Bros again. Just checking their experience. Um, yeah, they're both about three and a half levels in. Let's go like this. Don't get hit. Good. Ugh, sorry. Ah, oh, one damage away. Okay. Um, maybe if we could get Thaney to throw a Javelin? That's a, oh, 25% hit. Okay, Watt, can you use a hand axe? Mm. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, then. Oh, well, I could use Wolf, except he's so far away. He's been too busy sitting on the back lines because I couldn't have to worry about how fragile he is. Oh, man, I may have to use Marcus after all. Or, you know what? No, I don't have to use Marcus. I'll just leave these two right here. And if they can't kill him on enemy phase, then surely they can on uh, the next player phase. I'm gonna stop moving Waltz and Boris forward, because I know it's wasting time. Otherwise, yeah, let's keep going. Um, Ellen, of course, I need Ellen. And it's, this is stretching it, but I'll bring Ward, too. It, it will be an uneventful enemy phase, because only this fighter will move. That's the weird thing about this chapter, because... Um, I, I remember playing on normal mode, and I had to lure out these enemies, and then I'm just wasting a bunch of turns because they won't move. But, so, I know... I believe... I don't remember which enemies it is, but... I know who that there's a group of enemies that will not move unless you uh, attack them first. It's just an unusual thing, so you don't do it very often. Kind of, I would provide an analogy, but I'm, I, don't, I can't think of one. Let's give this kill to Dick, because he has uh, 12 skill. Yeah, he should be able to hit. With an iron sword? Over a fort? Mmm, okay. This is nice. Although unnecessary, it means I know that he will definitely hit that attack. If you see those little animations like that, it means that you're definitely going to hit. But... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in Marcus because I want I I want to see if these guys will uh, attack or not. 
And Marcus is quite durable, as you can as you can probably tell. But you know what? Lance is durable too. Sure, I'll throw him in. I just don't want to throw him in the way of this soldier. Uh, it's he's a slam. What am I worried about? Nah, I, I'm this is silly. Go in there. Um, just heal up uh, Alan first. And hopefully I can get another kill to Thaney. She's one of those units who, they seem pretty bad, but they do end up exceptionally good. Um, for Thaney, it'll at least be because of her high speed. Um, I think she's gonna level up speed, like, most of the time. Unlike most other characters. Yeah, there's only like, I don't think I, there's only a handful of characters in this game who will consistently level up speed. Even then, I'm not sure if it matters much on hard mode, but 12 speed is really good. I can't imagine that it won't do nice with uh, the upcoming enemies in these later chapters. And there's another crit there by Dick. Very nice. But he was an enemy mercenary just like him. Will Marcus be able to double him? Nope. Okay, that's fine. I still, I still don't have anything to worry about. Marcus is all good, as I expected. I mean, jeez, I hope he wouldn't go down in chapter 2. I think... how many chapters does this game have? Like, 20, I think? Or 25? I don't remember. So, let's attack this fighter in the forest, because... oh, wow. You can't even double the fighter. Good job! That means... that means I can get the kill to someone else. And he didn't get hit this time. Good. Who can soften up this, um, soldier? Oh, Dick can do it. That's good. Only taking 9 damage in return. Uh, Dick has a lot of hit points as well. That's good, nice. Alright. Have a good level up. Hey. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh. oh. I see you really... I, I try to make a joke in these sad times, but I really just can only come to silence. God damn. Why? So, I know Lot's not gonna hit that sword fighter, so... You know what, sure, maybe he'll hit this guy. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Maybe Ward can do something. Ooh, no. I'm not... I'm not thinking Ward can do anything. I'm not that crazy. But, I'm slightly worried now. There. What was I worried about? <laughs> uh, these guys can be handled easily. Um, Lance has a javelin. Uh oh. There. Mm -hmm. uh, I was about to say, he only has a javelin, he doesn't have any other spears. So, I'm gonna rely on Alan here. He. Oh, only four skill, huh? This is very bad. Don't get hit, you have a weapon trial get Oh. This sucks. I was not thinking very clearly. I don't know. Um. Oh, ugh, wait, does this soldier have a javelin? This soldier has a javelin. No, I guess I'm gonna screw up already. That's fine, I guess. Please hit! 59%! Thank you. And a level up to boot. Come on, don't follow Dick's footsteps! Skill, speed, and luck! That's really good for a Cavalier. Because, you know, they've only been leveling up uh, a defense and hit points so far. In Alan's case, also strength, I guess. But, now, as for this fighter... Come on, boy. He only has five hit points. Come on. You're just as awful as I expected! You gotta be kidding me, how do you miss an 82% in this game where it's rigged to be higher? How are you that bad? At least Thaney has 6 defense, because if it wasn't for her ability to take less damage, freaking Alan would have died due to your incompetence. Oh my god. Although, I guess now is not the time to panic, because nothing bad is really ha- oh. Okay. Alright, I need to use a javelin over here. Although if I do- okay, I'm just making sure Thaney doesn't get doubled. And the one thing about Thaney is that she only has 4 constitution, which is also really low for this game. 
So if she uses a weapon like a javelin with 11 weight, yeah, she gets slowed down by 7 points, and that means she has 5 speed. But if it wasn't for this... If it just wasn't for this fighter's mediocre stats, then... Well, not mediocre, but... Um, lowish speed for this scenario, then... Jeez. Roy, you would've been in big trouble. Are you... No. Okay. That almost killed Bane. <laughs> or it would've killed Bane in the enemy phase, but... We're all good. It's all good. Um, otherwise, uh, how are you guys doing? I mean, I wasn't talking to those guys. I was talking to you. I it, I just so happened to be my cursor over here at the same time. I don't I don't want to talk to them. You know what? You guys are losers. Yeah, look at you. Carry him because you're stupid and dumb like that. I bet you are. You have nothing else to do, do you? You don't. Okay. How about you hit this time, Roy? Or just get hit instead by a 44% hit chance. Alright. Or just level up resistance again. That's fine. Hey, see? At least you can level up good levels. If it wasn't for this other bad thing about you. I don't know. If Roy has such good growths, then he shouldn't be so bad. Yeah. I'll tell you guys later. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be one of those things. But now, I'm going to just heal up again. I don't think... Marcus doesn't need healing yet. Nah. I mean... Not versus these two guys. But I believe it was these two who don't move in to attack you. Move in. Excuse me. And if that's the case, then... Oh, Alright. Works with me. Let's first attack him with Vic. And then... Maybe be able to kill him with uh, a Javelin. Although that's unlikely. Oh, and get hit by another 40% chance. I swear. I swear. I'm gonna explain how the RNG works in this game. And why a 40% annoys me more than it should. But, hmm, do you think this will hit? I don't think so. Not knowing my luck. I saw instead I'm going to rescue him away. No, no. Who has more defense? Okay. Alright, should I calculate or should I just be lazy? Hmm, I don't know. But, so when you rescue units, your skill and speed gets cut in half. So I'm thinking, if your speed gets cut in half, will you get doubled? But, Nah, it's all good. Marcus... You should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fine. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll take um, Dick. We'll release him so he's out of range of, range of the archer. And then just move back a little bit. And then... He's not gonna die with this fighter. I mean, what's his defense stat? Six? Yeah, he's good. And for some reason, I almost thought that a fighter had a, a hand axe, but he doesn't. So that's another good thing. Because knowing me, he would have got hit by it. He would have got hit by a hand axe anyway. And in case you don't know, hand axes are very inaccurate in Fire Emblem Six. Fifty percent hit, a, a coin flip. Why am I checking on those two? Oh my! He didn't get hit. The 40%. Wow. But you see that archer, he's not gonna move. That's so that means I have to just I had to bait out that one fighter and not this archer, which means I have which means I have to waste more time. This is quite rude of design by the game developer. Oh, I, I had my chance, I screwed it up. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just laughing at this guy a little bit, <laughs> and his, um, and his, his stats a little bit. I mean, he does have 12 strength, which is pretty kind, which is kind of high, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, this guy doesn't get doubled by Marcus. Okay. That's fine. I'm not worried. It's not like you can do anything about it when Marcus rushes up to him. Okay. That's right. But, um, I don't mind if Lance and Alan take a hit. I'm gonna move them up. I do mind if Thaney gets hit. I neglected to mention this, but if Thaney gets hit by an archer shot, she will die because the bow's might is multiplied by 3, so instead of 6 power, it becomes 18. And 18 plus 9, yeah, Thaney dies. 
Er, I'm, I'm act I actually didn't calculate it. I was too lazy to do it, but that's, you can you can imagine with Baney's 17 hit points, it, it's probably what'll happen. At the very least, I don't want to get into the bad habit of leaving um, my flyers in range during this hard mode run. Er, Iron Man run. I'm not gonna get mad. It's the 79. There's nothing to get mad about. Now, I'm going to... let's see. Who should I hit him with? That's what I'm contemplating. What? Only a 59% hit, Alan? Are you kidding me? Uh, this is why I like a uh, Lance move. But I need to give him another Lance before I can reliably train up his Lance rank. <laughs> because right now he only has a D rank in Lances. And Lances tend to be better in this game just for the fear, I mean, the sheer fact that Lance, I mean, Lances exist, javelins exist in this game. So, that's, I just want to train this lan Lance correct. Okay. So instead, I'm going to... Jeez, I don't have any more Lances. I'll give him the Iron Lance from Marcus, because Marcus can use a Silver Lance when I need it. And then, he can reliably hit. No, he can't. Now he can. Right? Right, yeah. But then, I'm thinking of giving the kill to... Hmm. Well, let's see. Does Thaney get one shot? Nope. Okay. I will give the kill to Thaney after I weaken up this, ar this archer a bit more. Although... Hmm. Alan does have a lot of strength in compared to Indolance. So that's why he one-shots this archer, and I didn't expect it. Hmm. Okay. At least Roy's weakness is helping out. He could stab that archer right in the neck, and he still just screws up. Or screws up in regards to being able to stab someone in the neck and not kill them. That's okay, that's okay. I'm slowly becoming... I'm slowly just accepting this fact. That Roy actually is this bad. Because, you know, you know, I didn't want him to be that bad. I don't know. I mean... He's... I, I'm, I think Elliewood's kind of cool for... being a cavalier. I... wait... Wait, why would I think Elliewood's cool if I like him for being a cavalier? Roy is Elliewood's son, but he when he promotes, he doesn't get a force, so never mind. There's nothing cool about you, Roy. And people laugh at you in Smash Bros. too, in case you were wondering. <laughs> you suck. And he sucks for another reason, too. Damn. You suck! Ah. Okay, good job not getting hit by the very two. Um, tee hee, 69% tee hee. Okay, I'm glad I got that out of my system. Now, I'm gonna move Thaney on the way, because she can't do much. But, the, um, Roy has an exclusive weapon called the Rapier, which only he can use. And it's, look at that! Strong against armored. Oh, oh wow! Just kidding, he still sucks! Ha <laughs> ha! It sucks! Quick! He's like Nick Slick! But, um, I'm gonna give Ward a chance. Maybe he, he does good with his hammer? No. Only a 35% chance to hit, to hit. Um, uh huh. So who should I fight him with? He's standing on a gate, which gives him three def defense. Which is, this is why I'm having enough trouble to, um, fight him. Let's see here, maybe... Yeah. To save time, I will use Marcus's Silver Lance. Which is to say, I don't want to keep hitting the end button on this menu here and constantly try to, try to, you know. Don't get hit by 32%. You don't want me to make fun of you too. You got hit by 32%. You suck as well. No, I'm just kidding. You don't suck as well. <laughs> He's, you're fine, Marcus. You're fine. You're an old man and you're better than this kid. <laughs> Suck, Roy. You suck so much that you're you're, you're always right-handed, um, because you're on the right side of the screen during battle animations. Yet the game developers were too lazy to make you right-handed on the battle map. So if you could tell, um, oh, ugh, greed only brings you ill fate. Yeah. Oh, I almost thought you were gonna see Marx's bad level ups, but 
you can see Roy always fights with his right hand in during the battle, if you remember. Which I'm which if you don't, that's fine because I didn't fight with Roy very much. But they could have made his Overland fight with him using his right hand with his sword in his right hand because his sword's in his left hand. But this just goes to show how much Roy sucks. He, uh, you could say he's ambidextrous, or actually I don't know how to pronounce that word. My apologies, but. No, he, in his Overland sprite, he always uses his sword in his left hand for no reason, and there is no, and I don't think there's anything in the lore saying that he he can use both hands. They could just give him with his right hand, like he also uses in Smash Bros. But this just goes to show that how bad Roy is. Woo! All he can do is conquer the throne, Master Roy. We have to rescue a lady trapped in the basement. That must be Ellen's mistress. H have her come here. Yes, Your Highness. Well, Ellen, oh, are you all right? I never thought you would be doing such a great thing. You had to be worried on that. It's safe now. I'm safe now. I'm in debt. Can I ask your name, Roy? Ew. Basically, she's the princess of Burn, and she's not against the whole campaign that Burn's up to. I just didn't read, want to read all the dialogue because the translation is kind of boring. But otherwise, this has been Igor, and thank you for watching with me till the end. I hope I can provide um, better commentary, like in this part. Unlike in the last part, which I know it wasn't, I was kind of stuttering a bit, and I still do now. But I swear I'm gonna, this is gonna be my time to improve and all that. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.